everybody, I'm Dracula, and this is Drawing with Dracula, Episode 1, How to Draw the Superman Symbol. Today I'm going to be drawing the Superman symbol. I've printed out this, and as you can see, I've marked it up good for symmetry to, to really figure out what makes the symbol look the way it does. Now, what I'm going to start with don't be afraid to use a straight edge if you need it. I don't really care how straight my lines are, so I, I'm just uh, sketching. So what I'm going to start out with is a square, but it's going to be on its side, basically. So more like a, a diamond. Because really the outline of the Superman symbol is... In fact, a diamond, if you think about it, looks like a cut diamond. This is something my son uh, was wanting to learn how to draw, and that's not quite right. That's why I'm sketching. I'm going to, here we go. I just sketch until it looks right. Until I got a nice uh, shape. I still want it to come out a little bit this way. There we go. That's looking better. Now, what I'll usually try to cut this up into 11 equal, uh, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, doesn't have to be perfect, but right about there, is where the line's going to start for the inside border. And the same thing's going to happen this way. That's going to be the center. Uh, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. That's close enough. And from the top down through the center, one, two, three, four, five. It's also close enough. This line might have gone up a little bit as I was drawing. Anyway. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use this line here and this one, uh, and it's going to go up like two, like possibly one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, somewhere around, somewhere around here there and this all is going to be gone so this is going to be our the top of our Superman symbol I'm not going to erase everything because uh, as you'll see before I'm done this is not going to be the, the uh, even the, the page uh, of the finished product I'm going to overlay another paper on top of it and I'll make it a little dark so I can see through so you can sort of see through it that's going to be my final product. So I don't have a bunch of sketch lines that I gotta erase when I'm, uh, when I'm through with it. So I'm gonna use this line here, this line here. Mm -hmm. Now this is gonna be my inside border. And so I'm going to start working on the symbol. The symbol is going to start somewhere around one, two, three. It's going to come down from the inside border, and there's just right here is just a little shape like this. That's going to be the upper right side of the S, and that's going to be sort of the outside border of the S. It's what you don't draw that makes the symbol what the symbol is. And from here I come down under the middle line a little bit and way past uh, the point that comes down here about like that and we're gonna leave it at that for now um, over here we come in about you know to there and this line's gonna be darkened and so is this one and this is gonna come to 
about there. I can darken that. And that's going to be the outside of our S over here. I'm doing it lightly at first because I'm going to change that uh, some. It's going to change a lot before I'm done with it. Uh, now, the top of the S is going to come way, I mean, the, the top of the inside border is going to come way up here. And it's going to end right about here. And it's going to come actually into that a little bit. And it's going to come back like sort of even with this and then sort of swoop down until it meets the outside border right about here. Mm, there. I might have come dip down too far with this so we can, we can do this and start from there. See what I meant about this thing changing a lot before we're done? If I don't like the way it looks, I'm going to change it. I'm going to keep going until it looks right. There, that's looking a lot better. And now we're going to swoop down to here. Swoop down like Superman. Sort of make a line that I like. And we're already into the border there. The border which goes like this like that. All right, and now we're going to skip down to here, and there's going to sort of be a triangular area down here that is uh, darkened, where the S sort of slowly swoops in like that. All right, and you don't have to worry about making the line here, because like I said, it's what you don't draw that makes the S. Now, we skip a little bit. There's a little spot there. And then the in, inner part of the bottom S starts. The inner bottom part of the S. Well, anyway, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. I'm gonna come across here and swoop up a little bit. Swoop up just like Superman. Just down a little. That's gonna come up and we're gonna make a loop. Loop's gonna come all the way over to the edge. And then back. If it's not looking right, you can always make your erases and all your scratchy marks on this one because it's going to look just right when we're done and as I slowly start to get the shape I want I'm darkening the lines look at that it's starting to look like a Superman symbol pretty awesome one too look at that do this I like that I like that I like the outer part of this line There we go. And I can darken this up so I can see it through the paper. Make sure I get the line that I want. Right there. Right there. Here. Now, you've got a template that looks pretty good, if I may say so myself, for a Superman S. Nice. You can, uh, you know, erase some up here if you want to get a better idea of what it's going to look like. Now, brush that stuff away. Now, what the great thing about this method is when you do your second, you can use any material that you want that you can see for it. Put it on a t shirt, use paint. I'm going to use, now you don't have to line the paper up together, you want to line the symbol up in the middle, so I'm going to move it down a little bit. I'm going to sketch it first with pencil, so you can see a nice pencil uh, rendition of it. I'm drawing quickly. So I'm tracing my own work, which doesn't really count as tracing since it's my own work. I mean, it technically is tracing, but it's mine. I can do whatever I want with my own work. Eh, I can erase now if I want to. I didn't follow the line perfectly, but... It's going to look a lot better than it would uh, if I had done this all from scratch, you know, scratchy lines. 
there. So now we got a Superman symbol. And I'm going to show you how you can do it with other materials, with other, well, mediums. I have these Crayola markers that I bought for my son, but he's not here right now. He's at school, so I'm going to use them. And he's not even going to know it until he sees the Superman symbol I drew. And he's going to go, ooh, Daddy, can I have it? Can I cut it out and put it on the wall? Sure. I'm going to start with the black marker to do the outlines. Now, it's not going to be perfect because I have a camera in my face. And I'm sort of having a look under it so you guys can see what I'm doing. And a line across the top. Nice. And then one down. Here. Bump the camera. See, it's in the way. So all that sketching sort of gave me the idea of how to make the lines. First time I've ever done this, by the way. Drawn anything. I've never drawn anything before in my life. No, I'm just kidding. See, it's a little fat right here, but I'm not being too picky. Because I'm doing this quick for, for a YouTube video. If I wanted to take more time and do it really, really nice, uh, I probably wouldn't do it with a camera in my face. Or I'd find some other way to put it here. I'm working with what I have. Now, I think the colors that, uh, that they chose for uh, Superman are pretty interesting because they just happen to be the ones you see on emergency vehicles. Police cars use red and blue, fire trucks, you know, red and yellow, and other emergency vehicles like uh, tow trucks and public service aides will use yellow lights. So it's, it's these uh, colors to let you know Superman is here to help. Um, red. I'm gonna. Gonna do. I want to. I'm trying to choose a line that's not gonna be a whole lot because I, I I tend to like doing my my coloring like this. And I like to make all of my lines go in this same direction. So what I want to avoid is lines going like all the way up like this. If I want to go back and make it more colored in more um, completely, I can go back and do it. But I'm not too, too picky. Some of you watching this on YouTube might be pickier than I am, and you might want to do it. you know, make it look a little bit more neat. Put it on your own YouTube channel. That would be awesome. Then you could send me a link and I could check out yours and see how neat you did it. I'll even give you extra credit. <laughs> uh, all right, I promise no more bad jokes like that. Yeah, looks could it, that looks pretty good. And you can actually go back in and lightly go this way to fill in the spaces that you missed.
Yeah, I know I went outside the line. starts to really look like Superman once it's colored. I'm getting messy because I'm getting impatient because this is taking too long. Turn in the paper. All right. That looks pretty neat, I think. I think my son will like it. Clean up some of these spots where the white's showing through. Of course, you could always take a picture of this or scan it and put it on your PC and just pop the colors right in there. Not even have to worry about any of this. There's those guys at the Comic-Con that sit there with markers and just... Uh, mark it up for you right there and it looks like perfect I'm not one of those guys I do a whole bunch of different things this is only one of the things I do so I don't dedicate as much time to it and you can tell how impatient I am alright that's looking pretty good Yeah, my son's going to wonder, why aren't my markers drawing anymore? My red's not red. It's not making red. A little bit of spot right there. And there's a little white spot. I'm seeing the stuff on the camera that I don't see here because it's more sensitive to the light. There. That looks, that looks pretty good. So, all right. So that's how I drew my Superman symbol. Uh, if you like it, uh, leave a comment if you if you don't like it kiss my butt I mean you can leave a comment but be nice don't be a, a, a butt a little spot right here all right so uh, I'm still picking at it don't pick at it you're gonna make it worse I have a whole lot of other types of videos I do as well. There's Dracula's Toy Box. You can check that out. I dug out all my 
toys from the 1980s, and my son and I go through them together. There's, uh, there's just funny stuff I do. That's about the third row down on my, uh, on my channel. You can check those out. That's where this is going to be if you want to come back to it later. Um, I also have a lot of Defiance gameplay, a little bit of Star Wars Battlefront 2, a few other games mixed in there. And that's what I do mainly. Uh, live stream pretty much every night around 10.30 Eastern Standard Time, Defiance. You can catch me then. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Wait a minute. Oh no, I messed it up. I can fix this. I can fix it. I can fix it, I can fix it. But I can't put yellow over red, so I'm going to have to do this. Black, yellow, there's the Superman symbol. Yay!